What's up, YouTube? This is KC100 or Trainer Caller 100, and you're about to watch my seventh Wi Fi Pokemon battle video today. Thank you for taking the time to come to this video. I appreciate it. Remember, if you end up enjoying this video, you gotta like the video and subscribe for more content. I'm just telling you. So, we have a passerby battle today. And this match, I gotta say, this is a crazy one, so bear with me on this one. We have a new team here. I wanted to try out a rolling Executor here. It has Trick Room, and to pair up with Executor, I wanted to bring some slow Pokemon, some middle fast Pokemon, some Pokemon that are not really fast, but are somewhat slow so that Trick Room can be utilized properly. I do have to be wary of Floet or Agron or maybe, yeah, I don't know, but that's to my opponent's side. But for me, I have Sableye, Magnezone, Mega Gallade, uh, Shiny Samurott, and a Lolan Zekitor, plus Lycanroc. So my opponent here, he's got Flow it. Could be a Eevee Light set. We don't know that, but it's a possibility. We also see Rapagash and Greninja, Charizard, Agron, and Zygarde. So we do know that there could be Megas here. We got potentially an Ash Greninja that we're looking at, a Mega Charizard, or a Mega Agron. It's pretty funny because you'll see what happens during this battle, but like, my opponent has two Mega Pokemon, but one of them can go Mega, so that's a really important factor when going into this. Other than that, this was a strange battle because several moves have been used, and they were not very effective, or I haven't used them. I just don't use them right, is what I'm saying. So, with that said, let's begin the match. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, you guys, so this is the match. Adriana is going to begin with Floet, as I began with Evelyn, the Sableye. Not a good matchup, but that's okay. I know I can live a Moonblast if he wants to go for it. I just go for Taunt on turn one, expecting him to maybe over predict and use a Toxic or something like that. Something other than Moonblast, and it does over half to Evelyn. I could maybe live another one, but just in case, I'm going to switch out, going to my shiny Magnet Zone to resist the Moonblast coming my way. I was hoping he didn't get the special attack drop, and fortunately, he was unable to get that, and that's good news for me. I was really close to going for other than Thunder Wave, of course, because I knew he had Zygarde, but I decided to use Thunder Wave. That was a really good turn there, although it was risky. We paralyzed the Charizard with the Thunder Wave. That's going to be really useful for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'll probably outspeed Charizard with Lightning Rock. However, the only rock type move on this Lightning Rock is a Stellar Rock, which is a priority move. Um, unfortunately, well, it's half unfortunate because I have a Lumberry. He uses Inferno and that does a ton of damage. And I get the Lumberry effect from when I was getting burned there. So it gets rid of the burn, which is great. So I end up using a Solar Rock and we almost KO Charizard. I get up my Skull Throps. It was kind of strange. Again, you'll you'll notice that we doing some weird plays with some of my Pokemon, like right there, going for the Stealth Rock and then going for another Star Rock with Charizard. I was lucky because he got paralyzed a few times. Realizing that Greninja is going to KO Lycan Rock, we use another Star Rock, do some damage to the Ash Greninja now, because he transformed into Ash Greninja there. Not looking too bright there. I do know I can go into Executor. This is a really good opportunity. I don't want to mess this one up. Use Trick Room with Executor. 
and then KO Greninja with the Giga Drain. This is awesome. Now he thinks that Night Slash would be super effective. No, it's not. Some people say that it's part Psychic, but it's actually part Dragon. If he had Ice Beam, he probably could KO me, but this is a bulky executor. I put a little bit of HP investment in there. And then the rest in special attack. Alright, so we do use Draco Meteor. We wipe out Rapidash. Thanks to Rapid or thanks to Rapidash's speed, I'm actually going to outspeed him because of the trick room. Now we see Zygarde coming in. He's gonna use Core Enforcer. Very strong move. Uh not so much, I guess. I don't know. Cause look at that, like Barely did anything to the Sableye and can make it even more troublesome for the Zygarde. We'll burn it with Will O Wisp. And even with that, it's still not going to KO Sableye. At any point, I could have gone with Recover, but just to make it interesting, I'm going to stay in and use like Shadow Ball or something. And then we'll let Sableye go down right here. I guess we'll to use some of my other Pokemon. And besides, without signing up, Zygarde is pretty useless at this point. So we're going to Samurai right here. We're going to use Hydro Cannon. This is a really good chance because I can use that powerful move. The only issue is that I'm going to recharge for a turn. But since Zygarde was, you know... Burnt. I wasn't fearing anything at this point. Anyway, uh, it sort of worked. I mean, we do take out Zygarde, but since I have to recharge for a turn, Floet is going to use his Z power. I've never seen a never fully evolved Pokemon like Floet. It would have been a Forges if it was fully evolved using Bloom Doom and wiping me out there. That is something. So, that is a little unfortunate, but you know what? I did what I wanted to do. Use Hydro Cannon, wipe out a legendary. On that note, let's go to Mega Glade and use Shadow Sneak for a bit. I know it's priority. I know I'll speed flow it, but I wanted to take it easy. I don't know why I felt that way during the match. I knew it was just a fun match at all. Like, it, it was. I mean, it's, it's pretty fun, but. I guess I could have used Cycle Cut over and over. I wasn't going to be outsped by anyone, even Agron, but uh, we just keep using Shadow Sneak for some reason. You can't complain about a few things there. Yeah, you know, I could have just used my fighting type attack, close combat, but no, I do not use it for whatever reason. I guess the only issue is that I wanted to use some of my other Pokemon, so just being easy on my opponent here. This is actually his last Pokemon, Agron, believe it or not. Yeah, so I wanted to use some of my other Pokemon. That's the only reason I would think of just using those weak attacking moves there. But uh, we are going to use Flamethrower, and then we're going to finish off the match using Devastating Drake. If only because Agron has... 2-3 HP left, using the most powerful dragon type in the entire game, Devastating Drake. It's pure overkill. This is hilarious. I, I can't... This is too much, man. I, I don't know. But uh, we finished off our opponent. We went this one 6-4 or 2-0. Pretty fast battle, but, you know, I had a lot of fun. And um, I thought it was hilarious the way I was treating my Pokemon. It's like, use Shadow Sneak over close combat. Use Devastating Drake on a very weak Agron who's about to go down with like 3 HP. I had fun with that. So if you guys enjoy this match, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.